Good morning. It's Friday. It's time to build our faith. I want to read from Mark chapter 3, verse 1. Again, Jesus entered the synagogue, and a man was there with a withered hand, and they watched Jesus to see whether he would heal him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. And Jesus said to the man with the withered hand, Come here. And he said to them, Is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm, to save life or to kill? But they were silent. And Jesus looked around at them with anger, grieved at their hardness of hearts, and said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and the, and the man's hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately held counsel with the Herodians against him how to destroy him. Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the sea, and a great crowd followed from Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem and Idumea and from beyond the Jordan and from Tyre and Sidon. When the great crowd heard all that he was doing, they came to him. And he told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, lest they crush him. For he had healed many, so that all who had diseases pressed around him to touch him. And whenever the unclean spirits saw him, they fell down before him and cried out, You are the Son of God. And he strictly ordered them not to make him known. And he went up to the mountains and called to him those whom he desired, and they came to him. And he appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, so that they might be with him, and he might send them out to preach and have authority to cast out demons. And he appointed the twelve, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, the son of Zebedee, John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Sons of Thunder, Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon the zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Then he went home, and the crowd gathered again, so that they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to seize him, for they were saying, He's out of his mind. And the scribes who came from Jerusalem were saying, He is possessed by Beelzebub, and by the prince of demons he casts out demons. And he called them to him, and he said to them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. If a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is, and is divided, he cannot stand, but is coming to an end. No one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man, then indeed he may plunder his house. Verse 28, truly I say to you, all sins will be forgiven the children of man and whatever, and whatever blasphemes they utter, but whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they were saying, he has an unclean spirit. And his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. And a crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers are outside seeking you. And he answered them, Who are my mother? Who are my brothers? And looking, about at, looking around at those who sat near him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God, he is my brother and sister and mother. Amen. That's God's word. Mark chapter 3. We know the Lord did many things, many miracles, many teachings. Some are easy to understand. Some are more challenging to understand. But we're thankful God gives us faith to have uh, understanding in these things. He gives us insight by the power of the Spirit, and we're thankful for that. Let's take a moment and pray and ask the Lord to uh, impact this word to our hearts that we might be able to use it and apply it and, and be a people who please him. Father, we come to you. We're thankful for this word. We're thankful for uh, all the word that you've given to us. You've given the scripture to us that we might know you and 
we might ultimately know ourselves, and we're thankful for that. Help us, Father, to have understanding of this. We're grateful for all the things that Jesus did, the miracles that he did as examples to what he still does today. We're thankful for healing. We're thankful for deliverance. We're thankful for salvation. We're thankful that you call us to be your people, to be uh, those who serve you and, and follow you and walk with you. Lord, help us to do the will of God as it as it uh, is given to us. Lord, we're thankful. I pray, Lord, your blessing on your people. Give strength and health and healing. Lord, many need a healing touch. We pray for that. We pray for strength in physical bodies, Lord, to do the work that you've called us to do. Lord, keep your healing hand upon us. Keep us well. We pray, Father, for provision in our lives, that you would bless us with everything that we need, that we might serve you faithfully. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise and glory. We bless you, and I bless your people. In the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. God bless you, church. It's been good to be with you for a moment here on this Friday. I pray your faith is built by the word of God. We know Paul told the church at Rome, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So we, we know that as we hear the word of God, even if we have just the faith of a mustard seed, we could speak to the mountain. So we, we do that today. We thank the Lord for all that he does for us. I pray you have a great weekend. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday. We'll be in God's house together. We'll pray together. We'll worship together. We'll share the Lord's Supper together, hear the word. So I pray uh, you have a good weekend and we can see you soon. Take care.